Outdoor Passion is brought to you by Prince Craft Boats, Dominate the Waters, Williams Lures, Trophy Takers for Over 100 Years, Sport Chief, the legendary Canadian outdoor wear, and Rapala World Records, World Class. <laughs> If you love spring brown trout, you're going to love this show. We're going to visit Oswego County in Northeast New York, Lake Ontario for early summer giant brown trout. Ray Carignan will stop by with his latest discovery. This week it's a look at lures with an evasive action, the Rapala Scatter Wrap series. Our technical block will feature tips on how to adapt to changing weather patterns. Fishing for big brown trout is a challenge. They're smart. First, we have to find the correct water temperature on specific structures and use techniques that will overcome their natural wariness. Ray and Kevin Keller of Fish Chopper Charters will troll for mid-depth brown trout near the shores of Lake Ontario in Oswego County, New York. The destination of the week is brought to you by Williams Lures, trophy takers for over 100 years. New York State's Oswego County is experiencing an incredible economic boom because of the amazing fishing available in Lake Ontario. The number of large boats devoted to offshore pursuit of game fish is astounding. Most municipalities along Lake Ontario have their own boat ramps and marinas. This is a renewable economic activity that will have a positive effect for decades to come. The sight of these boats, rigged with the latest fishing equipment, confirms the potential of this well-managed fishery. Let's head out on the lake with Kevin Keller of Fish Chopper Charters. Kevin is planning quite an adventure for us in search of elusive giant brown trout. During the period of April to July, our captain concentrates on the southeast portion of Lake Ontario. This is the strategic area for record salmonids. Finding brown trout in these vast waters is far from easy. It's vital to identify the correct water temperatures. The team uses a Fishhawk electronic thermometer connected to a downrigger to pinpoint temperatures at varied depths and follow the comfort zones of the target fish. Sonar readings of bait fish pods double our chances of capturing large predators. Our arsenal would not be complete without an automatic pilot giving us the freedom to set up our lines while underway. Fish out, fish out. Looks like wobbling spoons are our best bet for these early passes. Oh boy, those brown trout are powerful. Now's the time to put our trust in the super sharp hooks of our Savant Spoon. They are the most wary of all salmonids, which gives them the chance of growing very big before their capture. They adapted extremely well to Lake Ontario's ecosystem where it can attain phenomenal size. They prefer slightly warmer waters than other salmonids. Ray applied some Smelt Flavor Supreme Gel to his Savant Spoon. 
It's a rainbow smelt Jake model that was trolled at only two miles per hour. It took a while to find the correct conditions, but this catch of a lifetime or two was absolutely worth all the effort. Catching exceptional fish like this does not depend on luck. This is why we're visiting their origins at Salmon River Fish Hatchery, one of the many state organizations working with regional groups to protect and enhance salmonid populations in the many tributaries found in Oswego County. This hatchery specializes in rearing the lake's most popular salmonids. They protect their hereditary integrity by meticulously controlling the genetic roots of fish introduced in rivers and streams. The results are extremely spectacular. These eating machines reach maturity to be caught by happy anglers. Let's go visit this complex where they grow fishing gold. The process begins when biologists and technicians remove the eggs from spawning adults during their migration. They are fertilized and then hatched. The resulting fry are raised in these indoor pools. This important step in the operation is tightly controlled by experienced specialists. When larger, these fish are moved to exterior ponds where they are fed scientifically formulated granules. After they attain a size that will ensure their survival, they are released in the appropriate stream or river. And when they finally become combative and ferocious adults, lucky anglers will get the battle of their lives. After spotting a few large trout following our lures to the boat, we decided to rig smaller floral carbon leaders. That should change the outcome. With this fragile leader, we must adjust the reel's drag perfectly and then check it often. This massive brown could easily win a tournament. To achieve this impressive catch, we use a dipsy diver. It's a great tool that sends your lure down deep and sideways far from the boat noise. This way, lure spreads are more tangle-free. Dipsy divers can also have a strong, attractive effect. For giant brown trout at medium depths, it's a must tool. How old do you think this fish is? This is probably a four-year-old fish. Only four years old? Yeah. My God. We can thank Williams HQ Spoon for this remarkable catch of a trophy brown trout. Oswego County's incredible fishing is also due to high-quality tributaries. The Salmon River in Pulaski is one of the best examples of the area's environmental care. It is clean clear and ideal for the reproduction of trout and salmon, two species with zero tolerance for pollution. State management encourages natural reproduction to enhance the productive hatchery programs. There's no doubt that the unrivaled fishing here is due to a strong natural reproduction and stocking. The shoreline was restored and reforested. Hydro dams on the river must maintain favorable water levels for the reproduction of the largest spawners. Certain sections of the river are restricted to fly fishing. 
Our search for monster browns continues around a rocky shoal near a sharp drop to deeper water. Yeah, the water temperature is very good. Yeah, it's about 52 it's degrees. It's a little bit warmer. Yeah, absolutely. That's what you're looking for, right? Yeah, there, there's one right, right there. Fish shot! Yeah. My Rapalar reel is on fire. It's steaming. A long rod with a light action and a well-adjusted drag should prevent a break-off. Okay, here he comes. Back up, back up, back up. Okay. This fish required that we troll with a very long line behind the downrigger ball. It's worthwhile to experiment between downrigger, dipsy divers, and side planers to find the perfect presentation. Since New York State allows three rods per angler, it's possible to use all three presentations at the same time. A large black silver Williams HQ spoon harvested the fish that we could only dream of before today. This is really our work, uh, fishing with uh, Kevin Keller of uh, Fish Chopper Charters. Really hard work. Oh, boy. After a successful day's fishing, Oswego County offers great attractions. Salmon River Falls, around 20 miles from Lake Ontario near Orwell, is one of these unique areas. The falls are 110 feet high and joined to a 3,300 foot long canyon. The bottom of the falls is where all historical salmon migrations ended. These were the ancestors of the Atlantic salmon, which are making an overdue return to the lake's ecosystem. Long ago, the area's native people would gather at the falls to harvest salmon and make provisions for the coming winter. Today, it's a very popular attraction for all. This public area is open freely to the general public if they respect park regulations. Time to head back out for record-sized browns. Luck is with us. We just found a school of active trout in shallower water. Now's the time to use our best presentations. Okay, I got him. Line number three. You got him? Yeah, he's running. Okay. Still a green fish. It was in a shallow pocket of water at the ideal temperature that we found a good concentration of these beauties. Again, this confirms the importance of water temperatures. Rapala and brown trout, they're made for one another. Exactly, so that water temperature band that you found, uh, they were in very shallow water. Yeah, they moved in a little bit more and uh, they're up a little higher. So we put some stick baits on the surface and so you that was the ticket for today. New York State is very generous to brown trout anglers with a limit of three fish per permit. The season on Lake Ontario is open all year round and the minimum length is set at 15 inches. Brown trout can become very selective, so we used a smaller suspending X-wrap that offers a very natural action and posture at mid-depth to entice the big overly fed fish. Yeah, natural colors today. Yeah. 
The best period to fish for browns in Oswego County is from early April to the end of June. For the largest fish, it's the last two weeks of June. Our oasis for this journey was Catfish Creek Camps on Lake Ontario. Its cabins are grouped around the main site where all services are provided. They offer highly affordable European plans. This is the ideal place for a wonderful vacation. The cabins are clean, comfortable and fully equipped. After an exciting day full of angling action, this is where you'd want to stay, rest, relax and get ready for the next day's battle with the lake's behemoths. Catfish Creek Camps on Lake Ontario is strategically situated along the Catfish River with very quick access to the best spots on Lake Ontario. Private boat docks and ramp await your boat in a protected and tranquil location. Recognizing the ever-increasing popularity of fishing and boating activities in Oswego County, all lake and riverfront municipalities built modern boat ramps with easy access to full-service marinas. With long docks and lots of room to maneuver safely, we can't help but be impressed by these installations. These facilities can accommodate the busiest summer weekends with no delays or aggravations. Many of these boat ramps have modern restrooms. Today, thousands of outdoor buffs travel to Lake Ontario to experience the thrills offered by the local sport fishing industry. It's high time you joined in the fun. The destination of the week was brought to you by Sport Chief, the legendary Canadian outdoor wear. Wow, Kevin and Ray must be in pain. Have you ever seen trout that big? These huge brown trout are really exceptional, and you can see that having the right lures at the right depth really pays off. Finding 52 degrees water was the key to this outing. We'll be right back with the Novelty Minute on the Rapala Scatter Wrap that uses evasive action to catch more fish. Our technical block will feature tips on how to cope with Mother Nature's bad side with outdoor passion right after these messages. After these messages, it's all about fishing with evasive action lures and how to cope with Mother Nature's bad side. Did you know that all Princecraft boats are built entirely in Canada in a small town called Princeville in the province of Quebec? Every day, over 300 employees put their talents together to design, assemble, and deliver some of the best built boats in the industry. Princecraft works also with local Canadian component suppliers to ensure the best quality throughout their boats. By purchasing a Princecraft boat, you are supporting the overall Canadian economy and community. Princecraft. Dominate the waters. On the way again. Oh, on the moose Genuine silver and 24 karat gold finishes reflect all available light farther and brighter. UV reactive, strike triggering, color pattern accents for more big fish. Williams and Moose Look. Spoon feeding trophies for over 100 years. For over 50 years, Sport Chief established the highest industry standards for clothing, shoes, fishing, hunting, and outdoor accessories because Sport Chief knows what performs in the outdoors. Our innovative apparel ensures your total comfort, created from ingenious concepts, enhanced with progressive engineering to protect you from the worst storms. They are long-lasting, waterproof, camouflaged, silent, breathable, and odor-resistant. Sport Chief, the best garments, shoes, and legendary accessories for the great outdoors. Check out sportchief.com. For the bass that thinks it's a bulldog. For the walleye that thinks it's a freight train. For the tuna that thinks it's a torpedo. For the tarpon that thinks it's a tarpon. You need the mono that thinks it's a braid. Suffix Advance. New advanced mono with HMPE braid molecules for strength, abrasion resistance, and low stretch. Suffix Advance. The mono that thinks it's a braid.
For more than six decades, Princecraft has been renowned for building the best aluminum boats. Experts have consistently relied on Princecraft for its quality, durability, reliability, and performance. Whether it's fishing, water sports, or simply enjoying the water with friends and family, Princecraft has a wide range of products that will suit all your needs. Get yourself the exceptional quality and performance that only a Princecraft boat can provide you. Go to Princecraft.com to build and price your boat or to view our full assortment of products. Princecraft. Dominate the waters. The Novelty Minute is brought to you by Princecraft Boats. Dominate the waters. Back with Ray and the Novelty Minute, a new lure you've discovered, Ray, that actually tries to make itself look like it's trying to get away. Exactly. It's trying to imitate a fleeing bait fish action. It's called an evasive action. And it's the Rapala series called Scatter Rap. So it's because of the curved scattered lip that you get this evasive action that attracts big predators like brown trout, walleye, bass. It can catch just about any fish that swims. It's really a great lure. So you have the scatter wrap that imitates shad, a very popular forage with trophy fish. Then you have the scatter crank. It's more a bass lure for casting that will fool wary largemouth and smallmouth bass. After that, you have the scatter minnow. It's more a trout and a walleye lure, and also it's a good addition to the classic rapala. Then you have the countdown scatter wrap. So you just cast it out, let it sink. It will drop at one foot per second, so you know the exact depth of your lure. So for trolling, it will also go a little bit deeper, so you have lures that can fool just about any fish that swims. It sounds fantastic, Ray. The technical block now, you know, you can't always depend on the weather when you go fishing, but at least you can fight back. We'll teach you how to deal with Mother Nature's crankier side. Weather is one of the most important factors affecting your angling success. By checking weather reports frequently, you could avoid nasty surprises and save your fishing trip. Apart from hurricanes and violent storms, the worst conditions are created by cold fronts, a common name for high pressure systems. Most cold fronts come with strong winds and a drop in temperature. Once the clouds have passed and the front is well established, the sky becomes crystal clear. This lets the brightest sunshine through, a brightness that penetrates the water and turns off most fish species. Neutral to negative fish moods are directly related to the severity of cold fronts. To mitigate their effects, we recommend fishing rivers. Moving water filters solar radiation and improves fish mood. Stained or turbid waters and presenting your lure on the deepest structures are other options. Fish also hide in or under the deepest cover. They can be enticed into striking. Cold fronts can make you feel like all the fish are gone. These are days when few fish are considered a good day. Don't underestimate the effects of wind direction. For example, a blow from the east will slow down the activity level, an effect that extends into rivers and even under the ice. A west wind brings in the most favorable conditions. Rain has one of the most positive influences when accompanied by mild low pressure systems. Clouds reduces sunlight to bring fish out of hiding. A wet but great time to go fishing. The hours just before an incoming storm can be the most intense. Predators have to feed quickly if they want to go through a period of inactivity with a full belly. After a storm, fish turn off completely and the severity of the incoming front determines the length of time fish show neutral to negative moods. It can last for days. Still more to come with great tips on big brown trout fishing, right after this. Did you know that all Princecraft boats are built entirely in Canada, in a small town called Princeville, in the province of Quebec? Every day, over 300 employees put their talents together to design, assemble, and deliver some of the best built boats in the industry. 
Princecraft works also with local Canadian component suppliers to ensure the best quality throughout their boats. By purchasing a Princecraft boat, you are supporting the overall Canadian economy and community. Princecraft. Dominate the waters. On the way again. On the moose look. Genuine silver and 24 karat gold finishes reflect all available light farther and brighter. UV reactive, strike triggering, color pattern accents for more big fish. Williams and Moose Luck. Spoon feeding trophies for over 100 years. For over 50 years, Sport Chief established the highest industry standards for clothing, shoes, fishing, hunting, and outdoor accessories. Because Sport Chief knows what performs in the outdoors. Our innovative apparels ensures your total comfort. Created from ingenious concepts, enhanced with progressive engineering to protect you from the worst storms. They are long-lasting, waterproof, camouflaged, silent, breathable, and odor-resistant. Sport Chief, the best garments, shoes, and legendary accessories for the great outdoors. Check out SportChief.com. For the bass that thinks it's a bulldog. For the walleye that thinks it's a freight train. For the tuna that thinks it's a torpedo. For the tarpon that thinks it's a tarpon. You need the mono that thinks it's a braid. Suffix Advance, new advanced mono with HMPE braid molecules for strength, abrasion resistance, and low stretch. Suffix Advance, the mono that thinks it's a braid. For more than six decades, Princecraft has been renowned for building the best aluminum boats. Experts have consistently relied on Princecraft for its quality, durability, reliability, and performance. Whether it's fishing, water sports, or simply enjoying the water with friends and family, Princecraft has a wide range of products that will suit all your needs. Get yourself the exceptional quality and performance that only a Princecraft boat can provide you. Go to Princecraft.com to build and price your boat or to view our full assortment of products. Princecraft. Dominate the waters. Another great fishing trip, Ray, Oswego County. I can't believe the size of these brown trout. Now, you could have probably won a tournament fishing these. Absolutely, Andrew. And you know Oswego County is known for giant salmon, but nowhere in North America you can catch brown trout like this. I mean, this is really world-class brown trout fishing. And you know we're fishing very clear waters, so use very long fluorocarbon leaders, keep your hook sharp, and add scent to your lures because those big brown trout are very smart. So if you use like Trigger X or Exude eggs on the hooks, or even better if you add smelt jelly on the lure itself that will stay on the lure longer, this will fool those big wary brown trout. Once in your life, you have to visit Oswego County for those big giant brown trout. Thank you so much, Ray, for another great trip. And thank you for joining us again this week on Outdoor Passion. Hope you get a chance to get out in the great big outdoors this week. And remember, if you do, try to leave things exactly as you found them. I'm Andrew Carter. See you next time on Outdoor Passion. Outdoor Passion was brought to you by Rapala World Records World Class. Princecraft Boats dominate the waters. Sport Chief, the legendary Canadian outdoor wear, and Williams Lures, trophy takers for over 100 years.
catching Big Lake Ontario Browns. Yes. How old do you think this fish is? For more information or to contact us, visit our website at www.outdoorpassion.tv.